On an almost daily basis, I speak to accountants and bookkeepers who, are, who, who share an all too common problem. They tell me that they want to grow, but they're too busy running their business to take the steps required to grow their business. And when I speak to them and start asking them to walk me through a day in their life, I usually find something out that's very interesting. None of them are actually too busy running their business. They're not running their business at all. That's the whole problem. They're working for their business instead of running their business. It's almost New Year's. People are talking about making all kinds of resolutions. We're going to do it differently this year. We're going to set goals and we're going to reach them. You know what the problem with resolutions is, right? There's an ancient proverb that, you know, that asks the question, you know, three frogs on a log. All of them made a decision to jump. How many frogs are left? I'll give you a moment to think about that. The answer, very simply, is three. Nobody's actually done anything. They just made a decision, right? Resolutions are a lot like decisions. Without actions to follow them up, nothing happens. When I worked as a stockbroker, we had a sales meeting every morning, and the, the, the manager of the firm would get in front of us and get us pumped up to sell, to get started, to, to reach those goals that we had. And we definitely had to set goals, and we had very specific numeric goals. We had to make so many calls a day because that would get us so many leads per day, and so many leads per day would turn into so many accounts per week and so on and so forth. We have to do the same thing when we're running our businesses. We have to have those specific goals. We have to have a number. How many new clients, how much new business will you get in this week? Somebody recently told me they don't want to take on any new business because that'll get them stressed out and they have as much as they can handle. Something's wrong with that picture. When somebody tells me that, my immediate thought is they're spending their time doing things they shouldn't be doing. They should be delegating a lot of that work so they can scale their business and grow it. Right? We have too much of a tendency to fall back into our usual patterns and then another year goes by and we wonder why hasn't much changed. At the same time, we're all so busy we can't seem to afford to take the time to get organized around setting and reaching new goals. This is a vicious cycle and it must be broken. How about 30 minutes once per week? Could you spare 30 minutes? Better yet, let's try this. Join me for the first week. Right? Let's take it one week at a time. January 4th, 2016 Pacific Time. Uh, at 1130 a.m., 12, 1, 2, 30 p.m. would be the Eastern time. If you're in Pacific or if you're in Mountain or Central, figure it out. I can never, I can never work out depending on the time of year, whether it's one hour or two hours ahead of me. Um, but all kidding aside, join me on January 4th, 2016. You're not going to believe the guest I have. I'm honored. I'm grateful. I'm humbled. I have none other than the CEO of T-Sheets himself, Matt Rissell, joining us to kick this off to share with you some of his wisdom. And if you're wondering how valuable that wisdom is, the reality to shift. It will change your perspective. Hard Things About the Hard Things is probably the single best, most riveting business book I've ever read in my life. It's about being a CEO. I mean, it is crazy the stories that he tells in there, and they're real. It's Ben Horowitz, and if you know his story, it's unbelievable. The next, this lean startup, it will teach you. I've had conversations with Brad Smith about this in his office. Um, it will teach you how to build your... Well, we're talking about somebody who took a company, who took an idea that was born out of him trying to solve a problem for another business that was very successful and turned it into a business that was a small tech startup out of Boise, Idaho, and blew it up into a company who recently, just to give you an idea... Of payroll. Um, uh, here's a great... How many people have been to apps.com? in the uh, Intuit Marketplace. Dawn Brolin is raising her hand. She's been there. Who else has been there? Yeah, awesome. Thank you, that's awesome. So if you go to the QBO, uh, basically the Apps Partner webpage, we are the number one rated time tracking system and the number one rated app overall in the entire Intuit ecosystem. We have now almost um, over 12. Got 15 million in funding from a venture capital firm. They proved themselves first and then got funding to go even farther with the goals that Matt has laid out for his company. This is somebody you want to learn from. This is somebody you want to hear from. Inside of your company and try to put them in the big categories. It's not like filing pencils or something like that. It's not tasks, but roles inside of your company. So a role would be what? Bookkeeping. What else? CFO. I would separate those two roles. Janitorial. Janitorial. Yeah, absolutely. I clean toilets, baby. And marketing. What? Marketing. Marketing. That's a great role. What other roles? Cleaning the office. Cleaning the office. Absolutely. What else? Admin assistant. Yes. I can't believe I'm not hearing this. I'm not hearing one of the... What? Human resources. Human resources. There's something else, though, that is killing me. Yeah, who said it? Sales. Sales. 
Yes. So write down all of those, that big list of things you're doing. So please join me on January 4th, 2016. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day, and I look forward to seeing you on the webinar.